and he just spun he's dragging him right into that ladder. That's gotta hurt. It looks like he's going for a DDT there. Yeah, he got it. I think he missed it though, because Davis just rolled him into the fist. And then Ali got an insult to injury and ran his head into that fist. Now there's only actually one rope on either side, the rest is steel fence. So uh the oh drop kick to the midsection there by M Dog as leaves back outside the ring. Picked up the chair again. X has got the bottom rope. M Dog's got five seconds to let go. Oh! Liam just took out Phoenix with that chair! Roll about the chairs, ladders and stop signs here at the EWA. Phoenix looks disorientated. As x tried to hit m with the chair, but m blocked it, so he just more or less punched it into his face. And x climbing to the top of the ladder, what's he got in mind here? He's all the way at the top. It looks like, oh, close line, oh! The ladder is giving away. He's missed it and landed hard on the ground, but that ladder's also got the ribs of M Dog there. And Phoenix come in and started stopping the ribs of M Dog as he's setting back up the ladder. That had to hurt M Dog. I'm not sure how X Cal is feeling on the outside though. He fell right from the top of that ladder, and he's, on, he's back in the ring. He's still the legal man. Phoenix is in there illegally as he leaves. I think. Yeah, he's leaving now. If M Dog can get a pin right now. I think he'll win, but he looks like he's hurt pretty bad too. That ladder fell right on top of him. The X Count's going for the pin. What? No, he didn't get it. Yeah, M Dog is hurting real bad right now. And he's just adding insult to it by kicking him in the ribs. I, I don't even think Phoenix is, uh, X Count is aware that that ladder hit him in the ribs. As Liam's there with that big pole again. What's he got in mind? He's behind him. He's tapped. <laughs> x blocked that, and he basically wrestled that out of his head. Hit him, oh my god! He hit him over the back of the head, and straight into the back with that pole. The outside is approving, why are they on the most dominant? Bulldog right there by x -Cal. Yes, the outside, the outside is approving why they're the most dominant team in the EWA tag team division. As they throw out Liam, it looks like, yes, they're setting up for it. They're going to try and end this match right now. He's going to go with the power, and then x going to splash right from the top. This is old school outsiders right now. Speedy should set him up. That was a pretty lame power ball, but he's still doing damage. His ribs are still sore as he sets him up in position so x can can fall. There he goes! And he's going for it. He's going to, one, two, three. Liam just didn't make it back in time to save that. And we have the tag team champions, the outsiders. That gives X Cal proof up to where I am with Blake Blackwell. Give it up for the new tag team champion, Old School Outsiders. And they need to live there. The Davis brothers, they got nothing to be ashamed of, really. This is the most dominant tag team in the EWA division. Oh, my. That was a chair, that was a shot with the stop sign. x was trying to block the chair with the stop sign. Just nailed him right in the middle of the face. He could be suffering a broken nose after that. Or, oh, that ch that stop sign is under his neck on the ramp. And that was one more good chance on that. End on. Oh my god. Well, that was one match for you. We got another two coming up. This is for the R Championship. And this is Phoenix. She got a break. And he's coming back to wrestling again. Really proud tag team champions. He's looking to the outside against Liam Davis. I thought these competitors were going to be tired for that previous match. Looks like we're having a problem with that music here, but... 
Although here it is here. So this is definitely me and this coming out to challenge for the other title and the new invasion of the LTP was forced to leave the EWA. So Liam is making you see what they do. And this entry took forever. Looks like they're gonna go at it one on one. Tag team champion versus debuter. This size difference is just huge. I mean, if you see Phoenix in real life, he's not that big, but compared to Liam, this is oh, I'll be surprised what happens here. Lock up in the center of the ring there, and then lead to the midsection by Liam and forearm to the back of the neck. This guy really knows how to technical wrestling and keeps the man on the ground. Another lockup. Phoenix has counted that and he's got him on his shoulders. What's he looking for here? Oh, but he was going for the scoop slip. But somehow, Liam Vane has counted that into a DDT followed up by a leg drop. Phoenix is hurt pretty bad. He's only wrestled one match tonight. It went for the spear, but Phoenix moved out of the road. Now he's going for a spear of his own. That was poorly constructed, but it still made the damage. As he drags him back into the ring. Goes to the pin with one, two, and kicks out a two and a half. Phoenix is going up the ladder. We've seen him use this many times. Oh, nasty low drop kick into Phoenix's face. Phoenix is definitely feeling all this pressure. He's already wrestled a 30 minute match. Now he comes out of here again. A scissor kick to the back of the head. Oh my God. Another low drop kick right into Phoenix's face. Man, this guy's going to be concussed if he keeps going this way. Another one! That's a hat trick of low drop kicks right in the Phoenix's face. And he just ran his knee in him. He's in the corner there. What's he got in mind? I think he's waiting for Phoenix to get back up. The Phoenix was playing possum. And that was a very low clothesline right into the gut. He's dragging him over the ladder. He only has bad intentions in mind here. Sets him up. Massive clothes on there. Hitting him right in the forehead. A leg drop off the top of the fence. An elbow drop. Oh my god. Headbutt right into the knee of Liam. Phoenix is going to be feeling that. He tries to get momentum. Another leg drop, but Liam got his knees up. Whoa, both these Davis brothers have incredible leg strength. He was just whacked with the Oz title. See, I don't understand why they bring titles to the ring, man. Because you can just use them as a weapon. Now, EWA, no match, every match is no disqualification, but titles, that's just too far. Phoenix has got the title in his hand, gives uh, Liam Davis a taste of his own medicine. Liam Davis looks to be out of cold right now. He's not moving, he just got a title shot right to the head. Phoenix has picked up that pole. Looks like he's going for him, but he's missed him just. Another leg drop off the top of the fence. This is hellacious. 